These are the features added and the improvements made to Mover Suite at 2018 R17. When you send a special services lead or order to Unigroup, there are now a few more fields available to you. On the Name Address Phone tab, the location type set for the origin and destination addresses is now included in the send. This change affects the moving from and moving to primary addresses and does not include the secondary address or any extra stops. Location type records must link to supported Unigroup codes. In this example, the residence type links to Unigroup through the external code of 01. The salesperson is already included in the send to Unigroup. However, the administrative mappings for this setting have changed. These changes are found within Personnel Setup. On the Interface Mappings tab for your salespeople, you must provide their Unigroup user ID number. This is the employee's ID on the Unigroup system. Additionally, the default branch for the employee must be one that is affiliated to Unigroup. In this example, the branch set for the salesperson links to a van line that associates to a van line code of U. The van line code must be either U for United Van Lines or M for Mayflower. On the Move Information tab, the valuation information and equipment records are now included. For valuation, the option set for the order must be mapped to a code supported by Unigroup. This mapping occurs within the valuation setup within the admin tool. Also, the rate set for the per pound field is also included in the send. Within the shipment details, the application now includes all equipment listed within this grid. For each shipment record, the application sends the description, length, width, and height. On the Agents tab, the van line code associated to the origin, hauling, and destination agents is now included in the information sent to Unigroup. And the van number is sent as well. On the Billing Information tab, the section code is now included in the upload. The section is part of the tariff information supplied to Unigroup. Read more about this subject and view the complete list of included data, supported codes, and mapping fields within the Unigroup Special Services Upload topic within the online help. Capacity Planning now offers two additional columns. They include the total capacity and the used capacity. The total capacity is the total of all resources for the selected branch and date range. The used capacity lists resources which are currently assigned or allocated. The available amount is the total capacity less what is currently in use. In addition to these new columns, you also have options to choose which of these four columns display on the page. Within the Admin tool, under the Operations category, a new setup titled Capacity Display Settings is available. From this setup, you can choose which columns display by checking the corresponding box. For example, if you wish not to see the total capacity, you would uncheck this flag. For each column, you also have the option to determine what appears for the column title. For example, you may wish the remaining amount to show simply as Available. Changes made to these administrative settings are immediately visible within the Capacity Planning page. View the Capacity Planning topic for additional information. There are additional changes for this release, so please read more through the online help at version 2018 R17. Thank you.